Hello everyone, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. I upload videos weekly. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so don't miss any of my videos. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about a new Huda Beauty product. This is an eyeshadow palette. This is called the Gold Obsessions Palette. It's the same price with all her Obsessions Palette, but this one is exclusive to Cult Beauty. So Huda Beauty is celebrating 5 years with Cult Beauty, so they made this palette exclusive to Cult Beauty. This is a limited edition palette, and now I'll zoom in so you can check the palette out. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it looks super cute. And these are the shades. You get three mattes and you get shimmers and metallics. So now let's do some swatches and then I'm going to do two looks using this palette so we can see how it performs on the eyes. So these are the gorgeous shades. So from the swatches, I can already tell that they're going to be so smooth. And the shimmers, everything is just so pigmented. I am in love. This one looks so pretty. Now that you've seen the swatches, let's now use it on my eyes and see how it performs on the eyes. I already did my makeup, so I hope I don't get that much fallout. But yeah, so I'm starting with this shade. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. After that, I'm taking this shade and I'm going to put this on my outer V and onto my crease. Just like so. Then using my finger, I'm taking this shade and I'm going to apply this all over my lids like so. Okay, this shade, I didn't, I don't like this that much. And look at that fallout. I'm not sure if you can see. I have major fallout. That's a lot of fallout. I don't know if you can tell, but on my mirror, this doesn't look that pretty. And it's not easy to apply as well. It's not as smooth as I thought it, it was gonna be. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like it that much. I'm going to try applying with a wet brush. It actually works so much better using a wet brush. Looks so pretty. And then I'm taking this shade and I'm going to apply this on my inner corner. The fallout is ridiculous when you're not using them wet. So I suggest doing your eyes first. Then I'm going back with this shade. And I'm going to apply this under my lower lash line. So this is the first look. For the second look, I'm taking this shade. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And I'm also going to put it under my lower lash line. And then I'm taking this shade and I'm going to focus this on my outer V. And also put it on the outer half of my lower lash line, connect it to my outer V. Just like so. And then I'm taking this shade. I'm going to apply this on the outer half of my lid, like so. I'm back with my brush to blend my outer V. The same brush that I use that I used earlier for my outer V. This metallic, the formula is kind of different with this one. This one was pretty smooth. I didn't get that much fallout. I have fallouts, but that was expected since I'm using a metallic, but not as crazy as this one. This one's very pretty. So next, I'm taking this shade, still using my finger, and I'm going to apply this on the inner half of my lid. That is actually so pretty. Okay. Next, I'll take this shade. And I'm going to apply this on my inner corner. 
And I'm also going to put it on the inner half of my lower lash line. So this is the second look. I don't know if you can tell, but on the first look, the fallouts were just bad. But on the second look, the fallouts were very minimal and the metallics were smooth. So now I'm just gonna put on some lashes, liner, and mascara, then I'll be right back to show you the final look. So I didn't put on any false lashes, but this is what it looks like when I have eyeliner and mascara on. So now for my final thoughts, I think overall the palette is great. I think it's super pretty. The two looks that I created look so pretty. I think both looks are so pretty. I just didn't like this as much, but I think it looks pretty. Like, if I did my eye makeup first, I wouldn't, like, be bothered about all of that fallout. I think it looks beautiful. And this looks gorgeous. I think the mattes were perfect for a base or transition or crease colors. And I think I love that there's a lot of metallic, so you can do like a matte underneath and then just do one metallic all over your lid and you're good to go. You can definitely create a lot of looks using this palette. I just didn't like the formula of this, of this shade and this shade and this shade. These three shades, I didn't enjoy the formula that much. Even with the swatches, those three were just gone now. I don't know if you can tell, but those three shades that I told you that I didn't like that, that much, they're not as shimmery anymore. Like this one and this one, it's gorgeous. These two shades right here is the one that I use for this eye look and it's just, it's so pretty and it's so soft and smooth. This is the two shades at the bottom that I didn't like that much. Just look at how shiny that looks. And this is what it looks like right now. And this one as well, this one was at the top. This is the swatch for that. There's barely anything there anymore. So do I recommend this palette? Of course, sure. If you're into these colors, then go ahead and grab it. They're, they're okay, they're great. And in my opinion, like, the shades, this one, this one, and this one, I don't know. It kind of makes up for the shades that are not that much pretty. And you can still make them work. They're not just they're not just as great as the great shades. I don't know if I'm making sense right now. But as you can see, these I used the shades that I didn't like that much on this look. But it's still it, it still looks pretty. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so don't miss any of my videos. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.